Did you grow up in the 90s with the PlayStation 1? If so, then I bet you have many wonderful gaming memories that you cherish to this day. Hi, my name is Martis and I'm here to shatter your nostalgia glasses by stripping away all the magic and charm of 90s games. Even though the PS1 was quite powerful compared to its competition at the time, the developers still had to rely on some 4D chess moves to trick unsuspecting grade schoolers. This is an in-game footage of the greatest game ever made, Driver 2. The thing in the distance you're looking at is supposed to be a lake, and my dumb 8 year old brain actually fell for it, until I managed to drive on it and the illusion was broken. But I have to admit it was a clever idea to use the bottom part of the skybox as water. It's not actually a skybox or even a sky sphere in this example, it's a spherical segment with a texture applied to it. Anyway, it gets the job done for the most part, but it completely falls apart along this coastline in Rio. You know what else the skybox fakes? Apart from everything. Clouds. Clouds are a part of the image. They're always there, chilling, in the same spot. Unless you're playing 007, tomorrow never dies. The clouds in this game actually move. But they're not real, volumetric clouds, like the ones you can find in a game like Flight Simulator. No, these are flat 2D scrolling cloud textures. You know what else they scrolled in the 90s? Pretty much every liquid. Water, lava, slime, acid, mud. If it's a liquid, you can bet your ass they scrolled it. Okay, I guess we can look past the skybox shenanigans because you don't pay that much attention to the sky when playing. But you do pay attention to the thing you're controlling, a car in this example. What's wrong with it, you might ask? Nothing really, except the wheels. They're not actually wheel shaped. Instead, they used a 2D plane with a wheel texture applied to it and an opacity mask to make it look round. They didn't want to give you all the polygons you deserve because it's cheaper to just use a flat plane instead of an actual 3D model. What's even crazier is that they used this black static cross in between the two planes to give the wheel some volume. But the trickery doesn't stop there, because as you reach a certain speed threshold, the wheel texture is changed from this to this, to fake motion blur. Ok, maybe you weren't fortunate enough to have played Driver 2 as a kid. Maybe you had to settle for F1 2000, where luckily the wheels are actual 3-dimensional objects, so everything is legit, right? Wrong. You have to understand, but no game was safe from 90s game devs. If you played this game back in the day, then you've been bamboozled. These people were pros at tricking you into seeing things that aren't there, like this tire shine. I'm sorry to do this to you, but the tires in this game don't actually shine. They slap that shine on top of the wheel, just like that. Look, you can see the wheel geometry and the shiny bit, they're two separate objects. But that's not all they slapped on. See how when I drive the car in the shadow, it doesn't affect it? That's because the shadow is two-dimensional, when it should be three-dimensional. Reflections have the opposite issue. They should be 2D, but in reality they're 3D and don't even reflect anything. What looks like a reflection is just an upside-down scene under the floor. You know what? Who cares what's under the floor? I wanna know what's behind this door. Oh, no. That's not how doors work. I'm no forest ranger, but shouldn't trees be tree-dimensional? <laughs> Why are they all staring at me? Do you remember when I said that they didn't want you to have all the polygons you deserve by faking car wheels? Well, I was just easing you in, because that's nothing compared to this shady tactic that was used and abused by most devs back in the day. I introduce you to The Fog. But the fog just adds to the atmosphere, I hear you say. Oh, you sweet naive child. They use that shit to cover up the fact that most of the stuff around you isn't even rendered. It's an inside job. Wake up, open your eyes and gaze upon the wireframe overlay. The fog is there to obfuscate the truth. Look at all the missing triangles. Unfortunately, it gets even worse. Some developers were so intent on depriving you of your daily recommended intake of triangles that they used... They used pre-rendered images instead of actual geometry. It's like buying a PS5 on eBay for a great price, only to receive a picture of it. I'm sure you're just as upset as I am at this point, as you should be. Maybe these fake fans will calm you down. How are they fake? Haven't you learned anything? It's just a rotating texture. And the flickering light isn't even a light. They just made some triangles look brighter than others. This is an example from a PS2 game called GTA San Andreas. Notice how the screen looks when it rains. 
That's film grain. They used it to create the illusion of heavier rain than was actually there. It just goes to show that even the PS2 era wasn't free from these kinds of tricks. But I've been compromised. I have to cut the video short. They don't want this information getting out. Just remember, the truth is out there.